the baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 11 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the challenger, Surreal Bangamaga. And now it is the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 4 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five tool. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. Nice defense there, huge block.
Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Nice straight right lands. And they separate. Slips to avoid that left. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Punch coming, it's blocked. Big ball, what's land? Now he gets back to range. Oh, wow! Head kick. Vicious combo there. Oh, nice high kick. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. And they separate. Lands the right hand. Three minutes to go. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? He's throwing every part of himself it's a big leg kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Choi. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Watch the shot. And that left hook landed on the button. A little single collar tie there. Nice kick. Oh, he tagged him with the jab on the counter. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step. It's getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Oh, blocks the shot. And they set it. Powerful leg kick lands. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Big leg kick lands. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Awesome, the power tie here. Just out of range with that right hook. Blocks the shot. Good stick. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming into. Very important for him to start popping that jab. Over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Round two is next. We now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. 
All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Just missed with the left there. Nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And he connects with the punch there. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Choi. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. And they separate. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Left hand punch with the clinch. Leg kick. Oh, you can hear the whack from here as he lands another leg kick in D.C. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Nice loop and punch. Punches block. Big head kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. You can't take many of those, you better check. Hard shots landing on both sides here. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Straight punch lands. Another shot lands upstairs. All right, single collar tie now. That oh, knee. big knee. That knee hurt him. Knee to the body. Oh, straight right. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, slips his head and counters with a hook. Nice job by Chor. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Oh, man, that's hard to watch. Another leg kick lands flush, and if you're the opponent at this point in time, you gotta check something. What are you doing? You gotta adjust. You gotta be doing something different because to this point, what you're doing is not working. Get close, fight chest to chest, maybe relax on the outside. Don't panic, don't be jumpy. Try to find comfort in knowing that you've done this. You have the reps, you know how to check kicks. Just take your time, be comfortable, get that leg up. It's only gonna take one great check to make him stop throwing those kicks. Nice strike. Again, they clinch. Wow. Just misses with the left hook. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, they can, in the night, that will land it right on the spot. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. 
just misses there with the left. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. Moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in the round. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Nice punch here. Lands flush with that right hand. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice one, two there. Leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much. Wow! Slips that left hand. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Choi's got the full mount. All right, he's got the hooks in. DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landed. The Korean Superboy gets back up, back into his comfort zone. his opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big punch land. Ooh. Back and forth we go. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Oh! He's a joke. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Nice head kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh! He needs to start looking for finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Takedown defense holds up. Well, missed on that one. Oh, can't put any weight on it. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, big head kick land. Whoa! And 
just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. What a performance. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 10 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion. So a big result for a big man.